Cowboys, NFC East to me is kind of a brutal division. It's two teams. It's the Eagles and the Cowboys. And I think the Cowboys on paper, I mean, you laid it out. Mike McCarthy comes in. I think that offense is equally, if not uh, more explosive here in the 2020 season with the additions they made via the draft and, and just the continuity that they have across that group. The defense, they add some names that we know, but where are they in terms of their career? So I think there are some question marks there. I, I have no confidence in what the New York Giants are right now or the Washington football team. I think Daniel Jones and Dwayne Haskins could be great quarterbacks, but they've not proven that, and they'll have to do that this year. So I think it'll probably be two teams above 500, unlike last year when it was just the Eagles. But I, but I do like the Cowboys probably just at this point edging out Philadelphia. But, again, I think that defense, and if Carson can stay healthy, uh, they're in good shape. Yeah, and I, I feel bad for Carson that they drafted Jalen Hurts, and that's going to create all sorts of controversy in yeah. Philadelphia. In that where, town, you know, too. They're going to love it. It's going to be on every radio station on every Monday. I, listen, it, it's going to be a fiasco in terms of the conversation, and Jalen Hurts steps in, and he starts playing well, and you know how that's going to go. And Dallas, I think Dak Prescott's going to have the best year of his career. I, I really believe that. Mike McCarthy is a quarterback guru. You talk to our friend Rich Gannon. In term, and Gannon played for him in, in Kansas City. It was his quarterback coach. What he does in terms of footwork and fundamentals. And, you know, I, I think the Cowboys could end up having the one seed in the NFC. Seriously, I think that offense with Dak Prescott, with Ezekiel Elliott, with C.D. Lamb. Lamb has the chops to wear historic number 88. And then you have Cooper and... Then you have Gallup. I, I love this team. I think this roster is going to be tremendous. And I think that the Eagles are a solid number two. Washington approved the defense, approved the head coach, approved the direction. But they're not ready for prime time. I love that you spent some time with Fletcher Cox because he is outstanding. I, I think he's one of the most underrated players in the entire league. He's a first-team all-pro caliber defensive tackle every single year, leader for the Philadelphia Eagles. And take us through that conversation that you had with him on the Where's Washburn training camp tour. We covered a lot of topics, but that's a bite there from the theme of the urgency that always, the expectations that always exist in that city. I mean, there's a level of angst when you play any pro sport in that town, but this team, and specifically Fletcher Cox and his defense, embrace it, especially ahead of this year, because they feel, and I would agree, they got a lot better in the offseason. Up front, they had Malik Jackson, Javon Hargrave, so that's a really strong core to stop the run and help those linebackers make tackles. On the back end, Adam, where they really struggled in 2019 due to injuries, they got thin there. They add Darius Slay in a trade. They pay him big money. The interception numbers were an issue last year, defending the pass, an issue. Now they get a top flight all pro corner, 13 interceptions the last three seasons for Slay. And the last point I would make is that Jim Schwartz is a really strong defensive coordinator. And I think mm -hmm. all around that provides a buffer for an offense that when Carson Wentz, as I know you want to hit, uh, is healthy, is great. And when not, which has unfortunately been all too common, they struggle. Yeah, and let me let me tell you what Carson Wentz is, Evan. I agree with everything you said about the defense and Jim Schwartz. Carson Wentz is a superstar. A superstar. You're right. Health is an issue. How can I – availability is an issue. How can I say anything else? But look at how he plays. He was getting my MVP vote before he got hurt against the Rams in December a few years ago. And when you consider what he did last year, it was remarkable. He went 4-0 down the stretch. Playing with vagabonds and also Rams, creating guys out of thin air. I mean, Boston <laughs> Scott sounds like he's a backup mini for Johns Hopkins lacrosse. I mean, <laughs> that's what we're talking about right well here. Carson Wentz is unbelievable. He is a superstar. And sure, availability is an important ability for Carson Wentz. And, you know, it is not a picture-perfect offense. There are still some questions. And, you know, obviously, Miles Sanders has been banged up throughout throughout this preseason. But, you know, Philly, you referenced it, Ed. They're going to be in that conversation in the division. I, I think Dallas is the team to beat. I think with Mike McCarthy taking over for Jason Garrett, 
I think Philadelphia, while they have a great quarterback and improved defense, as you mentioned, right now, to me, the favorite in the NFC East, the Dallas Cowboys. Adam Shine, Carson Wentz, let's put him on the list for MVP.